at the intersection of nature, opportunity, adventure, commerce, and open sky lies the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo. This area in northeastern Alberta is home to more than 100,000 people and many Aboriginal communities. It is also home to Alberta's oil sands, the third largest crude oil reserve in the world. Even before the unprecedented growth of the oil sands, the importance of monitoring air quality in the region was recognized. A network of air monitoring stations was established, and in 1997, the Wood Buffalo Environmental Association assumed ownership and responsibility for monitoring and reporting air quality data. Their work keeps industry responsive and accountable and keeps those who live and work in the region informed. The Wood Buffalo Environmental Association, or WBEA, is an independent not-for-profit organization that monitors the air in the Athabasca oil sands region, which is located in the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo. Every hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, the WBEA reports on air quality using a variety of air, land, and human monitoring programs. This information is reported continuously in real time to the WBEA website so it can be easily accessed by anyone, anywhere. What makes the WBEA unique is that its membership is the dynamic collaboration of communities, environmental groups, industry, government, and Aboriginal stakeholders. Each member has an equal place at the table and together they operate the largest airshed in the largest municipality in Canada. The Wood Buffalo Environmental Association, or WBA, uh, has a very long and proud history of over 15 years of air quality, terrestrial ecosystem effects, and human exposure monitoring uh, in the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo. We like to feel in WBA uh, that our work is extremely transparent. Uh, we're really, in our monitoring, all about getting the most accurate, timely facts we can on air quality and terrestrial ecosystem health. It's very, very important, as it is elsewhere, really, in the world, for regulators, uh, policymakers, to have the absolute best available scientific information that they can, so that they make the best decisions possible. The WBEA has a mandate to monitor and report air quality in the Athabasca oil sands. Air quality monitoring and data reporting is done through an extensive network of fixed air monitoring stations located in key areas throughout the region. This station monitors ambient air for a variety of different pollutants. It does that by pulling air inside the station through our sample manifold system. It allows the ambient analyzers that, to continuously sample that air inside the station for the specific pollutants that each analyzer is designed to monitor. Inside the station, the air that's pulled in from outside through the sample manifold is analyzed by each one of these analyzers. This is a hydrocarbon analyzer, a reduced sulfur analyzer, ozone analyzer, sulfur dioxide analyzer, oxides of nitrogen, and ammonia. All of the data, the signal data from these analyzers is then transferred through our data system through the PC, over the internet, and to our data server where the data is stored and disseminated to the different places that it needs to go. In WBA, our data comes right from the stations in raw form and it's transmitted to the website. And that, that data is publicly available to anyone in, and on the street or in the community of Port Macquarie. And our data is also communicated to Alberta Environment for calculation of air quality health index. The air quality health index is then retransmitted to our website and the, the sign at the Wood Buffalo Environmental Office in Pickwood and the McDonald Island for signage and people normally can go to those places or the, the website for air quality health index and real-time data for Wood Buffalo. Many of the WBEA's fixed and integrated monitoring stations are located in close proximity to oil sands development. Just as importantly, WBEA also monitors air quality near people's homes, operating a number of community monitoring stations in various towns and the city of Fort McMurray. A mobile monitoring van and portable stations also provide short-term air quality monitoring during incidents or emergency situations. 
This extensive monitoring network adheres to the rigorous standard operating protocols established by Environment Canada and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. WBA data is audited by two, by two third parties. One is Alberta Environment reviews the data, uh, whether they do operational audits of all of our instruments. And secondly, we have a third party auditor who looks at our raw data and makes sure that we follow all the data validation processes for reporting. So we have an independent contractor who does validation of our data. The data and information the WBEA collects and reports has to strike a balance between being scientifically valid, accurate, and reliable for stakeholders, regulators, policymakers, and industry, all while being accessible, transparent, and easy to understand for community members and citizens. Regulators, university scientists, and industry count on the WBEA to provide consistent, reliable data to allow them to make informed, evidence-based decisions. The WBEA's data management program and system ensures it can always provide high-quality data to its stakeholders. The organization also plays a critical role in the federal-provincial joint oil sands monitoring plan. The industry uses our data in a number of ways. They review our data on a daily basis to make sure their operations are okay. And they also use our data for the appear approval process, make sure they're in compliance of the approvals. And they also use the data for environmental impact assessments for future projects they may undertake. People living in Wood Buffalo look to the WBEA for easy to understand plain language information on the quality of the air in their region. The Air Quality Health Index, or AQHI, allows people without a science or industry background to assess air quality. The index uses a simple scale from 1 to 10 that links air quality to health risk. The lower the index number, the lower the risk to your health. The index provides helpful information to residents in the region as they go about their day and enjoy outdoor activities. The AQHI monitors for common air pollutants, which are known to harm human health. WBEA reports the Air Quality Health Index at five of its air monitoring stations, these readings are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week on their website, www.wbea.org. So, what are the numbers telling us? As an example, air quality was low risk in Fort McMurray 97.6% of the time in 2012. And the air quality in Fort Chippewa was low risk 98.6% of the time in 2012. It is important to note that the three pollutants measured to calculate the AQHI do not include the reduced sulfur compounds and volatile organic compounds that contribute to odor events experienced in several communities within the RMWB. WBEA is working through its Human Exposure Monitoring Program to characterize and quantify odors in the region. To allow anyone anywhere to access air quality information, the WBEA has developed an air quality index app for mobile Apple devices. The app provides real-time readings and health information for key areas within the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo and more than 15 other major cities and populations in the province of Alberta. The app is available for free on the WBEA website. The science-based work that Wood Buffalo Environmental Association does clearly has and certainly will have in the future an extremely integral and essential role in allowing decision makers, policy makers to effectively manage this airshed.